Hello well, hey, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest 64. So I did do some grinding. We have 73 HP now, uh, 26 MP, uh, 13 defense and 19 agility. And then our elements are 10 and 8 on fire and water. Now, 8 is an accident. I meant to stop at 7, but sometimes whenever you get a level up after battle, uh, you might hit the water magic to try to heal. Because I do have healing level 1. And it's not very strong. It's, uh, it's only five, 4 to 5 MP per cast, but that's one of the reasons I have so much MP now. Because... Spamming healing level 1 is a good way of getting MP. Also, there is something I forgot over here. Not not mentioning the NPC here. Uh, Brian, when fighting, you will have to... Or you have two octagonal areas surrounding you. The large octagon represents the entire fighting area. Small one, your personal area of movement. If you have moved outside the large octagon, you'll have the option to escape the fight. It's actually not an option. If you move outside the, the area and end your turn regardless, at the end of your turn, you escape. Also, I forgot something over here. I didn't think of bubbles over here. Corner, I believe. There it is. And fire. Now, what I'm planning on doing is I am maining fire. I'm trying to get fire up to possibly double water. Um. So when I get 16 fire, that's when I'll start leveling water again. Um. So that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. Just cause at least until I get healing level two, then I'm gonna full focus uh, fire. And we have, as far as firing spells, we'll have Fireball 2, uh, Power Staff still, and then Homing Arrow. Homing Arrow is a interesting move. <laughs> it's the Fire-Wind mix, and it kind of works like Wind Cutter, but with Piercing Arrows. Alright, so, in case you're wondering where I did my grinding, uh, if we check the map, I didn't collect anything on the way through, but I went down to Connor Forest there, and uh, I was grinding in there. Especially after I got healing. Once I got healing, I was there for quite a bit. Also, let's just show how strong we've strong we've gotten. Actually, let me show off the Homing Arrow spell. It's not the best in the world, but it does pierce through enemies, and a single arrow can hit multiple enemies. The problem is, A, these are fire-based enemies, so it's not going to do much. Um, yeah, 22 damage on our staff. That's not bad at all. And just stop the heal real quick, and on we go. Um, if you don't want to encounter enemies, uh, try to hug around walls and such. It doesn't obviously stop the encounter rate, but it does reduce it. And this is, see what I mean about Brian automatically turning to face the direction you were? Oh, also, uh, last episode I found out my B button was, uh, mapped incorrectly, to be honest with you. Um, so... It was mapped to... Because I have... Okay. I'm playing this with a Xbox One controller because it's the easiest thing to plug and play on my computer. And so I've remapped this specifically for this game. I have B and A on the back shoulder buttons and the C buttons on the face, face buttons so I can select elements easier. The problem I had is apparently B was registered to... Uh, the buttons being up, and B and A both were actually, uh, instead of being down, because of course they're counted as axes, or axes. So, the B button and A button were constantly being held, and that's why the camera was all borky on the first episode. Um, I didn't realize this until after I'd already started grinding, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep it. But yeah, so that's that's why the camera was weird, and so you do have to hold B to lock it behind you. Uh, actually, that's not going to help too much, is it? Yeah, this this area, this is one of the biggest downsides of the game, is the camera control. Because there is no camera control, I should say. Um, sometimes the camera gets put in some really awkward positions. And... Yeah, that's, that's part of the problem there. So we got a house up here. There is a reason to note this house. If you look right in the corner there, you can just barely see the little bubbles. That's right, we got spirit energy here. So let's go pick up a new spirit. And fire. Did we get fireball three yet? Nope. Power staff, helming arrow. Okay, no new spells. Huh. 
Hello, NPC. Farther along this road is Don Don Dondoran and the Connor Forest. Don't get careless in the woods. The robber is about. And eh, nothing else in here. Oh, uh, while I was farming or grinding, I also got a couple items. So we got Selene's Bell, uh, Captivate Your Enemy with Sound Freezes the Enemy, and Silver Amulet. Uh, protective Amulet increases defense 1.5 times. Uh, you get spells to do both of those effects, I believe, but the yeah, items are probably better, honestly, because you're not wasting MP. Because let's be completely fair here. Um, those spells are... Ooh, new enemy. Uh, those spells are very inaccurate. So, this is the Maneater. Maneater is an Earth-based monster, and I was hoping I wouldn't kill it. Good. Um, let me just kill this Werehair real quick. So, Maneater is Earth and casts Rock. Let me show you something. This is why rock magic is very hard to aim. Yeah. Now, in the Game Boy game, you cannot do that. Oh, fire. Level up. Ooh, we got hot steam. I'll show that off next time. Um, yeah, you cannot do that in the Game Boy game. The Game Boy game uh, is, again, interesting. Uh, really well made. Much better made than this game, actually, as I think I stated before. Um, and you can avoid rock by getting up close, but man eaters will, if you get that close to them, will start meleeing you. <clears throat> and their melee attack actually does a lot more damage than rock does, which means you have to change how you fight man eater. Really interesting. Alright, so. They told us to go to the king, so we're gonna go to the king. And oh, a pack of four. Um, no, let's show off hell. Oh, hell yeah! Let's show off hot steam. So we're gonna just get hit by that, apparently. Uh, hot steam, which is fire water, just creates a cloud around you and does damage to everything. It does a decent amount of damage, actually. Hot steam is not weak. Great if you're surrounded. Let's go up to the castle. One of the best parts of this game is its music. I love its music. Like, music and system of its of its uh, battles and such. Because its battle system is so unique. Anyway, anyone in here? Nope. Pointless house number one. We're not going to keep track of that, because I will lose count. Also, barrel icon. What does that mean? Well, that means... I thought you might need to drop a morning doobie. So you already have some. Next time, perhaps. Play digger, but I can't go to the woods, because the robber wants to do. Can't work. They say the robber is using the old fort in the forest as a stronghold. So you just set foot outside the city while he's about. There's always some fresh bread for you. Yep, so the little barrel icon means that's a supply area. So if you run out of the items they give, then come and get them. And the little pot, if I'm not mistaken, is the wing provider. So, you're Melrode Magician's Apprentice, aren't you? The quest is very difficult, I'll give you the yellow wings. They ought to help. You must remember that wings will not work in the forest or caves. Yeah, so the wings cannot be used indoors. They can only be used outside. And I... Is there a reason to go down? I think there's a spirit down there. Ah, uh, wait. Hold up. Either there's a spirit down here, or there's a spirit down here in the Game Boy remake, and I'm, I'm mixing the two up again. There are times I do that. Because the locations are the same, for the most part. Now, there is an area in the Game Boy game that got an overhaul, I think it was. Let's see here. Any bubbles. You have to look very carefully. If you just go running into the corners, you may miss them. They like to be in the corners, but they're not always in the corners. Okay. I guess the... Oh, wait. What was that? Ah! I was right. There it is. See? If you just look in the corners, you're going to miss them, so you have to look carefully. And we're already at 14. Nice. 
And let's get some flavor text here. Have you seen Princess Flora? She's a tomboy, always getting into mischief. Exactly like the late queen was when she was young. Bet she'll, bet she'll turn into a real beauty in no time. Even the king is worried about the robber. I heard he even sneaked, sneaked. Is that a word? Sneaked? I think it is, but it doesn't sound right. Into the castle. No one knows when the robber might come back again. I just hope he doesn't find our house. Father has hidden all val valuable pottery, just in case. Oh. Oh, okay. Not sure if that has to do with anything, but... Anyway, that was pointless house number two. Let's check out this house. Letters actually going to be seen here, too. Okay. See my husband, the potter? He is so depressed, I worry about him. People used to come for far away to buy my husband's wares, all the way from Limelin across the Luke. But, or lock, sorry. But with a thief about, there's no one to buy our wares. I completely forgot that's, that's pronounced lock. Luke, what am I thinking? Can I even English properly? I make pots and vases, or vases if you, if you desire, but because of the robber, I can't get any clay. If I don't get some clay soon, my business will be ruined. Yep, so pointless house number four. And then a corner. <laughs> the world ends here, kind of street. Don't know why it, it just ends there. But eh, it's okay. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with some flavor text. Um, only downside, this, this, this place is kind of confusing. Um, yeah, let's go to the castle. We don't have to go to the castle, but we can. Have you heard the news? A robber is living in Connor Forest. He became so bold that he stole a precious treasure right out of the castle. It's unbelievable. Precious treasure? Hmm. Well, that is. So, in the Game Boy game, there is actually a major reason to come here. Um, welcome to Rand, your lad from Melrose Monastery, aren't you? King Scottford is waiting from the throne room. Um... There's actually a whole little side story thing you have to do here to progress, and it's pretty interesting. Third rooms through these great doors. You have been cleared to pass. Please proceed. Like, the king is so... is trying to get uh, his the princess, which I think she's in her room right now. Um, trying to get her married. <laughs> Why have you kept us waiting? We've had a serious robbery here, and the king has no time to waste, so be quick about it. So you're the Master Apprentice the Grand Abbot has written about. Welcome to Dondoran. I know you're searching for your father, Lord Bartholomew. I almost forgot how to say that. Who is missing on his quest for the Ella Tale book. <clears throat> I would like to help, but first I must take care of a most pressing matter. You may have heard of the brazen thief who stole the Earth's Earth Orb from my secret treasury. I sent my troops in pursuit, but they were helpless before the thief's black magic. He now blocks the road to Loch Kildare. If you were to continue your quest, the roads must once again be made safe. So yeah, you never have to come here, but you can. And you can also raid the king's bedroom. Um, chest, please. Thank you. Now we get a dewdrop. Fresh bread. And more fresh bread. And uh, there's nothing else in here, so let's get out of here. Over the rooms. Let's see here. Um, now that we've spoken with the king, let's go around the castle and just see how many pointless doors we can find. Because <clears throat> you never, ever have to explore the castle. You don't even have to talk to the king to start with. I mean, I think you have to come back to the king, but you don't have to talk to him to begin with. Since the thief broke in here just recently, everyone who comes in has to be identified. I'm sure someone from the monastery can be trusted. <laughs> That's another thing that the uh, Game Boy Color changes. Because <laughs> I think the uh, the person who takes the Elletail book in the Game Boy is from the monastery. That's not really a spoiler. That actually gets revealed like super early. In the opening cutscenes, basically. And they actually added an opening cutscene, where in this game you start right in front of the Grand Abbot and he explains everything to you. That scene actually doesn't happen until like 20 minutes into the game because of the intro that you actually watch. 
You startled me. I thought you might have been the thief coming back for more. We never suspected that one man could pose such a threat to our castle, but his magic was overpowering. The castle guards went after him, but they were no match. I'm still nursing my wound. When fighting Solvrang, try to avoid his close range attack. He does too much damage for such a small lad such as yourself. He's he's not wrong, actually. Solvrang's close range attack is very powerful. I will be showing it off, but I will be regretting every moment of it. <coughs> But considering that my fire magic is not going to be that bad, it's not going to be that great against him. It's not going to be bad either. Um, normally, as I've said last time, wind is easy mode, and I love the wind spells. So, wind is Solverang's weakness because he is Earth. Oops. I didn't check out the rest of the upstairs. What am I doing? Let's go this way then. Another thing is that there are actually treasures in the um, Game Boy game that are in these side rooms, and there's even a part of the side quest is a, is dealt with in these side rooms. And this is the princess's room, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, well, it's the magician's apprentice. This is Princess Flora's room. Should the king see a trespasser enter here, there will be an uproar. Okay. And this is Princess Flora. You enter unannounced? Your manners are worse than the thieves, but there's something about you. You're a magician, aren't you? Have you come to Kaplan's catch the thief? I wanted to go after him myself, but father forbade me to leave the castle. I command you to go into the forest, find the thief, and return our rightful possessions. If you have the courage, my father will reward you handsomely. So we'll take your mint leaves, the dewdrop, and if I can position myself, here we go. Another to drop. Mint leaves, mint leaves. What were mint leaves again? Oh yeah, you have like unlimited mint, uh, storage space. It just kind of keeps going. Okay, mint leaves is the, the second tier, so it's like the honey bread of, of MP. Fresh bread. I'm keeping the items for healing outside of uh, or inside of battle, and I have healing level one for healing outside of battle. Um, pointless library. This room is actually not pointless uh, in the Game Boy game. That room is actually where you have to stand to to wait to get measured for uh, marrying the princess. Because there's a whole side story of, of being one of the bachelors to marry the princess. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, or is it this room? This room, it's one of these two rooms. It's either the library room with the table, or if it's this room with the table. Because you and the other guy are standing around the table. And he's some prince that I have no idea where from where. Because he's not from the other kingdom, so... I don't know. Maybe he is. But he beca becomes a plot point that he's like one of your rivals, and he keeps getting his butt beat. It's funny. Anyway... So we've done everything we can here. There's really no point to ever doing that much exploration. Sure, you get a few items in Princess Flora's room, but it doesn't take you long to get there if you're actually just trying to go for the items. And there is a day-night cycle, actually. You know this. It's uh, kind of evening-ish. So, there's that. Alright. So, we have our mission. Now, in the forest are some diff more different enemies, and they can pose a few problems here and there. Also, we're gonna really love the fact that Brian spins around to face the direction you were running, because there are... The jungle, or the, the jungle, the forest, for example, uh, oh, that just kills it outright. Nice. The forest is incredibly convoluted. Um, yeah, it's it's a wreck. And I think the sign. We can't read the sign, but if you get in close, can't you kind of see it? I don't remember. It's something about warning and forest danger. Um, here we are. Now, look how that says, don't go that way, and then that way is a uh, housing area. Oh. 
Yeah, there's several spirits in here, by the way. I was very tempted to grab them when I was grinding, and I was like, nope, I'm gonna leave them for the for the episode that I'm here. Um, yeah, so this is the way we want to go first, because of course we do. These are mannequins. They cast Wind Cutter level 2. Um, and we'll see it from this guy. Mar Mary and Nasty. So, Wind Cutter level 2 actually is hard to dodge, um, especially from these guys. These guys actually move close enough that it is really hard to dodge, because if you try to back up, you'll end up running into it. Um, this, I don't know what this place is. It's like a witch's hut or something? I don't know. Oh, we have level 3 now. Good, 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 good. Yeah, level 3 is the highest level of any magic. You can only ever get to 3 magic uh, elements in one spell. Giant Shoes. Giant Shoes may come in handy when we go to fight Silverang. Especially if I'm planning on showing off the physical, the physical attack he has. Just because the physical attack does a lot of damage and once you get close to him, unless your agility is really high, you can't get away from him. Okay, we have Kobolds. Kobolds are, I believe, fire actually. So they take reduced damage from fire. They cast Fireball level 1 unless you get close to them. Then they cast Tornado, and Tornado is a stronger attack, but at this point, 6 damage isn't that bad. And I can just get back some MP by smacking them, but... And make sure I don't level up. And just sit here and cast a few healing spells. Because you gain MP while running, then unless I just immediately get into another battle, I'll, my MP will be full before I run into another fight. Um, oh, and I probably should explain the MP, because I know I haven't yet. Um, so, your MP costs for your spells, uh, you may notice, don't show up on the screen or anything. That's because for every elemental you put into a spell, it costs additional MP. So, 1 MP, 2 MP, 3 MP. Um, the Marionasty, by the way, also has a melee attack. Let me see if I can get him to use it. Yeah, here he goes. Yep, he tries to jump on your head. Really? I missed with that? I shouldn't miss from all three of those. Yeah, there we go. You almost want to wait until the music starts back to ensure you don't level up. Oh, we have a bat. Bats leap forward at you and cast Wind Cutter level 1. But then when they get close to you, they cast Water Pillar level 2 or something like that. It's very, very powerful. They're much weaker than this. Does Hot Steam kill it? It did. Yay. Those things have a bigger brother I'm not looking forward to fighting. <coughs> Anyway, on we go. Oh, and now we have a frog knight. Frog knights are fun because frog knights are actually quite easy to dodge. Okay, so I need to back up just a touch. Yeah. So if I don't move here, he can't hit me. Now, if you get close to him, he does tornado like the kobolds do. But yeah, frog knights are easy. As long as you don't get too close to them. Uh, let's see here. Wait, is that the... Okay, no, there's nothing there. Running from fireball is really hard.
That Cobalt Battle is probably one of the worst ones for taking damage. Oh, there's the next spirit. There it is. I see you there. Oh, this guy. So these are man traps, I believe. They are a pain in the butt. So, they don't do much damage or distance because all they do is sit and heal themselves. When you get close enough, they will come close to you and do a really strong melee attack. But, of course, then their accuracy sometimes, just like yours, is kind of terrible. <clears throat> oh wait, they didn't even hurt me. No good, that'll spare me some MP. Also, now that our fire magic is twice our water magic, that's how I'm going to keep it, or at least try to keep it. Like I said, at least until I learn healing level 2. Then I'm going to focus fire until it's maxed at 50. Oh, I got close enough to it. Yeah, see? It does as much damage as the uh, other guys do with... Um, what is it called? Tornado. I didn't think of what spell it was. Now, I admit that I am a little overleveled for this area. That's because fire is not an easy spell to, or an easy element to use. <laughs> like, the fireballs may seem really strong right now, and they are, but they also require a lot of MP to clear battles. If I was the same level with Wind, I would only take one cast to destroy an entire battle. That's just how powerful Wind Cutter level 3 is. And that's not even counting Giant Cutter, which is almost as good. Yeah, I didn't think I was far enough. Oh well, they, they died anyway. But here we are. And right in front of the doorway, there's another spirit here. Let's get fire up to 17, and let's... I didn't learn anything today. Nope, oh, okay. Let's go. A little silver ring. Now, I will say that if you're slow and cautious, you can kind of hit those little side areas before you fight him, except for the main one. The one that has uh, the, ch the, the big chest that you're here to get. So, let's fight Solverang. What's this? What business do you have in the castle of Solverang, king of beasts? Did that fool in Dundaran order you to come after me? Idiocy. I stole the earth orb and it is all mine. With it, I'll become the ruler of Kenneshire. I'll show you humans what real power is. So, he has two attacks. He has what he uses in range. Which is a fire-based Kamehameha wave. It's actually earth-based. It's earth magic. Um, but if, you, if you're if you moving, holding to left or right, immediately, you know, while waiting, you can just barely get out of the way before he hits you. Now, I'm going to use the... Giant boots. And getting close here. His other attack is this. That move hurts. And if you don't have the giant boots, you can't get away from him. You also have to be careful when spinning around him, dodging this attack, because you don't want to get stuck on his cauldron there. There we go. Got the Aerothorb. 
crap, he actually gives you the Earth Orb. Um, so now we can raid his lair. Yeah, you can't get to this treasure chest, uh, without him aggroing you. And nothing here. You might be able to get, so I think you can get to this one, I believe. And then nothing up here. Not even a spirit. Alright, so now we need to return to Dawn Duran. But, unfortunately, wings don't work inside areas like this. So we have to run out. Now, if I hadn't done the grinding I did, this area is actually a very hard wall. Ooh, I just barely stopped moving in time. I realized I was running during Wind Cutter Level 3 and halted. Okay, let's see here. And if you're not paying attention, this area is so confusing to figure out where you're going. Oh. And bats. I'll kill the bat. Let's do that again. There we go. Now we will be going the other way when we go back to the castle because you have to stop by the castle again. And even if you didn't have to, you do want to. Um. Because you can get some more treasures now. Really, game? So anyway, that was the Earth, the Earth Master, because you have masters for each uh, element, and you have other bosses in the game that are of the different elements. But there's four main, as one would expect in a game about four elements. Uh, there's four major bosses, and he's the he was the major boss of Earth. Uh, really. It's a lot harder on me. Yeah. Jerk. Oh well, he'll get to use Water Pillar. You can see it. It's Water Pillar level 1. Um, that does do a lot more damage whenever your defense is lower. The only problem with cutting corners is losing yourself on the road. I believe this is still correct. The way I was facing, so I'm gonna hope it was correct. This is the hut, right? It's still the hut, right? Yeah, it's the hut. Okay, we're going the right way. Wow, I am so overleveled. It's not gonna stay that way, though. I'm not gonna grind again for quite a while. Um. Basically, I was only wanting to grind until I got healing and had fire at a decent level. And now that we're here, we can use the yellow wings. And we're in Domdoran again. <clears throat> also, as a note, make sure you have a pair of white wings before you leave. Even if you don't ever plan on returning to, to the monastery, you're, you're gonna want a pair of white wings, just trust me on this. No talk. Thank you. 
for the yellow wings. Alright, now we can go back to the castle and we'll we'll call it after that. We just wanna go do our uh pay our respects to the Do you change? This rubber seems to have gone away. I wonder who conquered him. Even the attack by the soldiers couldn't do the job. Must have been some fantastic warrior. Nope, just a little kid. Your soldiers suck if a little kid can do better than that. Sorry. Just saying. I wonder if Floria has any uh, additional text. I actually have never gone back and talked to Flora after this. <laughs> All the times I've played this game. You succeeded where my bravest knights have failed. It's just as the Grand Abbot foretold. I hereby bequeath you the Earth Orb. It will help you in search for your father and the Ella Tale book. Listen carefully. A hidden door behind this throne is open. You may take it, take from it any treasures you needed. Your courage must be rewarded. So yeah, this door was not will not open before you get the Earth Orb. After you get the Earth Orb, though, look at all the treasure. We have, if I can line up with the treasure chests, a replica. A hero's drink. A healing potion. And a spirit. And we'll put that towards water. Did we get oh we got Soul Searcher. Soul Searcher is a scan spell. I'll show it off. Let's uh Let's go see Flora, actually. Wait, did I check this door? I didn't check this door, did I? I didn't check the downstairs lobby area, or did I? This goes up. I did check this area, then. Okay, good. Let's go see Flora. I didn't think you could do it, but now you have our undying gratitude. Are you sure you're just a magician's apprentice? Your powers must be beyond compare. And she actually has a greater role in the Game Boy game. Heck, you not only have uh, the guy rival knight guy that's an idiot, uh, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure he's, he's there. But you also have another rival, um, a friend who you battle a couple of times, if I'm not mistaken. I remember him. I know he's in there. I just don't know if... I, I'm pretty sure you battle him a couple of times. Um, but he's a fellow a fellow apprentice who's traveling the world as well. I think you're, like, both trying to recover the Yellow Tail book. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. Where am I going? It ends right here. That's not the end. Well, okay. Well, this is a pointless house I didn't go into. Why, it's the Earth Orb. You defeated the robber, didn't you? What a power you must have for a youngster. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm in your house. I'm sorry, old man. I'll leave you alone. I meant to turn around and go in here, game. But yeah, it's been a long time since I played the Game Boy game. Maybe I'll do the Game Boy game eventually. But, uh, I will say that when I do that, I'm probably going to use wind. Because I love the wind magic in both this game and that game. But it'll call it for the day, I'm afraid. So... And eh, we'll save down here just for safety, just in case uh, something is wrong with the recording. Until next time, folks, we hope to see you again. Later!